Apart from the color changes that have been made to Fireworks CS6, there's been some really significant improvements in the panels. And again, they're subtle, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, are they ever neat. So let's uh, take a look at a few of them. The uh, first major change, of course, is in the layers panel. And I've got the layers panel open. And if I twirl down the video here, I've got a little placeholder. And you can see that it, I now got a little icon in here that tells me this is a graphic. And if I select uh, the play button here and twirl down this layer, you can see that it's a symbol. So I can have a quick visual reference to it. And if I select the background here, you'll notice that I've got a pattern in here. Plus, if I select the text there, those numbers, it tells me that it's text. So you get a very quick look at everything going on in your layers. And you can figure out what's what. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful feature. Another uh, change is actually to the Paths panel. If you go to the Window menu, Paths is uh, right here. It's got its own menu item, finally. It used to be tucked in here in the uh, Others menu. If you open up the uh, Path palette, you can see that it's really, really changed. And there have been some uh, interesting changes to this. Uh, we've got now got Simplify, Expand, Simplify Stroke, or Simplify Path, Expand, Stroke, uh, there's inset and expand of paths and strokes. You can also transform points. And the really cool thing about it is the ability to work with these things. So if I select this circle here and I want to, for instance, expand the stroke, all I do is click it and I get this wonderful dialog box that intuitively allows me to expand the stroke, play with the corners, set the miter limit, uh, how the end caps and everything are handled. This used to be some sort of bizarre uh, input that you would have to put into Fireworks CS5. Another uh, change, I'm going to just close the path panel. Another change is actually in the um, styles panel. I'm just going to open it. The styles are really quite well done. It's been totally revamped. If you don't have the styles menu open, it's available to you in the window menu. And if you uh, click on the pop down here, you can see that they've been nicely set up. And the really cool thing about it is that you can now apply styles to these things. So let me uh, just take this style here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply a style. So I can just click it, and the style has been applied. As you can see, it's in the current document. I can go back to the dark chrome styles, and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give it a solid fill. And I think maybe I'll just give it a bit of a crosshatch texture. And make it fairly dark. And we'll make it a black or a dark, dark gray. There we go. And I got that texture there. And what I want to do is add this to my dark chrome style. So if I click this button here, It'll ask me to give it a name. I'll just call it rounded. And I'll, you can choose the various properties that you want to apply. Click OK. And there it is right there. Now here's the beauty of this one. In the previous versions of Fireworks, if you created your own custom style and added it to the palette, well, that was it. You got it for this one document and one session only. When you reopened Fireworks, it was gone. No more. This style is now added to the Styles palette. So if I uh, change to, say, Diagonal Styles, and then come back to the Dark Chrome, there's that style we just added. Now I've got one final thing to show you uh, that's kind of neat. It's an interface thing, but boy, oh boy, I love it. The file name has changed. File, Save As. And you'll notice that I can now change it to interface.fw.png, and I can append the FW. Uh, this was done simply because of the fact that by defaulting to just .png, you never really knew where it came from, and there were always issues. And yes, I'm looking at you, Photoshop. Now you can choose to append the FW extension to it, and you always know that you've got a fireworks document. You can also apply it in the preferences. And if you go to Preferences uh, here in the Mac, it's under Fireworks, UPC, guys, it's in, at the bottom of the Edit menu. If you go to Preferences, General, you can see it's right there. So you can actually 
automatically apply it. And if you don't want to apply it, well, you can just deselect it in the Save As menu by simply opening Save As and deselecting the, che the check mark. So there you go. There's uh, some of the changes. Uh, we've looked at the changes to the Styles panel. I think it's pretty neat. Some changes to the Paths panel, which make life easier. Uh, the Layers panel gives you visual clues as to what is actually sitting on a layer. And this Append FW sure helps when, it, when you try to open images in other applications. And yes, I'm looking at you again, Photoshop.